Hey, welcome to month two. So, uh, we've been keeping you updated on a daily or weekly basis for a while now. And as you could tell, we have been bouncing around from project to project. Sometimes we, uh, we get 30 or 40% of a project done. We run into either a challenge or need a tool or need some materials. And we, uh, we just switch to another project. Uh, so part of the reason for that, my dog is barking at me. I'm not sure why. She's seen this before, but it's like she's she's scared of the camera. What's up, Priscilla? Scaredy girl. Anyway, uh, so as I said, we uh, the first month, we were really in a rush to get a few things done that had to get done before winter set in here at Big Sandy, Tennessee. So it, it won't be near as harsh of a winter in Big Sandy, Tennessee as St. Louis or Chicago, Minnesota. Colorado even so uh, it's gonna be you know probably average temperatures in the highs of the 30s and 40s and lows in the upper 20s so we will have some lows probably colder than that in fact tonight it's supposed to get down to 25 so this will be the only the second or third night that's been below freezing or at freezing um, and it is November 30th last day of November and so we are um, going to start being a little bit more focused. So we wanna do more of a project at a time uh, rather than um, bouncing around as we have. We'll see if that works out. So um, let me update you on what we did on the first month. So let's start first with really the first priority that we had, and that was right behind me, um, electrical upgrade. So we upgraded the electrical box to 200 amp service. And in parallel with that, we also dug this ditch for the uh, sewer dump. So. We've got those projects pretty much done. So the 200 amp service uh, was done. Obviously there's a lot more electrical work inside to do, um, but the main electrical needs so that I could get a 50 amp service panel over to the RV uh, so we can run all of our appliances and our heaters during the winter. Um, it was very important for us to have 50 amp for the winter time in the RV just to keep the heat across our different uh, heat pumps and then also furnaces supplemented with the furnaces, propane furnaces. So we've got the uh, dump done. We've got our water insulated. As you can see right there behind me, you can see the, uh, the dump line and then you can also see the insulated water line there. It's got those fully uh, insulated so we're ready for winter time here in Tennessee. Um, the other thing that we wanted to get done before the weather turned was getting all of the roofing done. So we've got the roof done on the house, no more water issues, and uh, now we're moving on to some other stuff. Oh, so the other thing, uh, a couple more things that we wanted to do uh, before winter set in was get the shop and the office at least temperature controlled and watertight, airtight. So we're working on those a little bit now, uh, and we're probably gonna slow down here this week and start doing a project at a time. So rather than doing full update videos of everything that's going on and kind of chaotic, I'm gonna try to do more of the focused project. Here's our project for this hour, here's our project for this day. And the truth may come as a surprise that we
So the other major project um, that Chris has been working on, and it took about a week, I guess, uh, of working on it um, as materials came in, is this miter station and uh, workstation. So it's a pretty cool miter station and workstation. So she's almost done. So she's going to sand and paint and finish this off. So you can see it's a, uh, it's got two carts that pull out. You can see the handles on those carts. One of them is a table saw. We haven't basically, it will be, this one here will be a table saw. So when you pull that out, there'll be a table saw in it that you can then use with the other cart as your guide. So sit your wood on top of the other cart and just push it right through because they're both on casters. Once she's finished here with this miter station, sanding it, painting it, give you a little bit more of a look at it, closer look at it, as well as point you to the plans that you can get off the internet, you can download for free. So uh, stay tuned for that. So the main thing we had to do in the shop here was get, figure out some of the uh, electrical issues, which we've done. And uh, we had to get all of the, or most of the walls and ceiling off to do that. So right now, uh, I've still got some wiring, old wiring that's dead to pull out of here. Right now, the, um, but for now, the wiring that is working in here is for all of the outlets that are behind the workstation, as well as this one outlet up in the ceiling for these two lights. Everything else, wherever we need power for the garage opener when we get that, uh, I'll install new lines for that. So right now, the plan is to get holes sealed up. So you can see down here in this front corner, We've got a big space. We're gonna use some uh, foam spray to get that sealed up. And I'm basically gonna look at all little spots that we can see that have uh, daylight through here. And we're gonna get this sealed up. We like the looks of the old reclaimed boards on the walls. So we're not going to uh, insulate it or close it back in. Probably not even gonna spray foam the roof. I mean, uh, we just kind of look the, like the look of the old rustic style. So we'll make sure it's structural. There's some structural, um, blocking that needs to be installed up here on top patch the holes run the wiring and that's about it for the shop we've got uh, our propane heat and a backup electrical heater in here and that should be good for the winter time the summertime we're just gonna have to get a big fan or something like that no air conditioning in here in the summertime for the first year at least what's you doing you hungry mm -hmm. go have lunch You want to get dressed up in our best and go have lunch? Want we go pick up lunch? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right, so um, welcome to uh, Project Brad's office. So we're going to get started this morning planning out this project. There's quite a few repair things to do and then just some new remodel things to do. So before we get uh, to the remodel part, um, there's some prep for the remodel, some things that we want to do. So. First off, I'm gonna show you why we need to put a gutter outside that they didn't put in and also do some repairs to this door and uh, why we need to do those repairs. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. 